How do you find dinosaur fossils? Discovering a dinosaur fossil is one of the most exciting part of being a paleontologist, but it also takes a lot of preparation and hard work. So the first step is for a paleontologist to figure out where to dig for fossils. The region has to include sedimentary rock layers like limestone or sandstone, because those are the rocks that contain fossils. These sedimentary rock layers need to be exposed on the surface so that the fossil bones are on the ground where paleontologists could easily pick them out. The sedimentary rock layers need to have been formed while dinosaurs were alive. So that would be between about 230 to 66 million years ago. So if a region ticks all these three boxes, then there's a good chance that you'll find some dinosaur bones in the area. So once you made the decision on where to look for fossils, then it's time to actually start your field work. The first phase is called prospecting, where all of us would just stare at the ground for miles and miles and hours and hours until we find fragments of bone on the ground. And we walk with this magnificent tool called the rock hammer. So when we do find fragments of bone sticking out of the ground, then we can use it to either take it out of the ground and also to dig a little further to see if there are any other bones nearby. A lot of people might think that when you're looking for fossils, you might see whole skeletons, but typically what you find are fragments and very damaged pieces of bone, like this one here. So one of the important skills for paleontologists is to be able to tell apart fossil bone from regular rocks. And so we look for features like grain texture on the surface, and also internally there should be holes where blood vessels and bone cells used to be. Paleontologists can learn a lot from just little bits of bone. We can learn about how the dinosaur grew or what the overall size was. And in a lot of cases, we can tell to which group these fossils belong to. So this is a piece of bone from a duck-billed dinosaur. Once you find some dinosaur fossils, then you're ready to move on to the next phase of fieldwork, which is called excavation. And this is where you dig out the fossil bones. But at this point, you are not interested in taking out the bones individually, because a lot of the fossil bones will be fragile. You'll be taking out the bones with the surrounding sediment and then shipping it to a lab so that you can prepare it using specialized tools. So the steps involved in field work hasn't really changed in over a century, although a lot of the techniques for analyzing dinosaur bones have changed quite a bit, even in the last decade. And finding fossils still takes dedication and determination, a little bit of luck, and also knowing what to look for. Right now, there are paleontologists digging up dinosaur bones on all seven continents. And so this might make some people worry that there will be a shortage of dinosaur fossils in the future but we're finding more and more fossils and there is no sign of it slowing down. For me, it's the best part of being a dinosaur paleontologist. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. And also, if you'd like to see this week's space video, click the link above. And if you have any more questions about dinosaurs, leave them in the comments section below.